Baseball on the show brings us to the home of the Braves, Truist Park. Tonight, it's game three of this four-game set between the Chicago Cubs and the Atlanta Braves. It's Braves baseball on the show, and it starts right now. Yeah, we in go mode. And that brings up Javi Baez, and we are set for baseball Leading here this evening. The, Cubs, the shortstop, Javier popped up. Baez. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Got it, the right so bases are empty with Jason. one gun, and that'll bring up the multi gold glover Jason Hayward. Little dribbler up the third baseline. But we might be ice skating before we're through tonight. 39 degrees at first pitch. The boys, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, they come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Hey, Matty V, we're taking a look at a team right here, D. Rowe. Through five games of this homestand, they're three and two. I know they were expecting more, but they'd like to win this one here today and get that up to four and two on this homestand. Yeah, this is an important one right here. You don't want to go 500 for six games, especially at home. On the road, you can deal with it. At home, this is a must win. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And that is off the wall. The throw is wild, and it gets away. And he'll get in there at third as he just misses a home run but settles for the triple. Not to minimize the hit here because it was a double all the way, but the wheels kind of came off defensively, and he's on third because of a bad throwing miscue. Trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. Fouled off. Bryant at third with two away. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The, the second base fouled away. Ozzy Albies. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side into a slide, and he makes a great catch for the first down. That is second. A shortstop. Gansby. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Batting first. The first baseman. Freddie. Freeman. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, coming off last night's W, we had a chance to catch up with the manager. He just liked the way guys are playing. They're showing up to the yard ready to go. They're playing as a collective group. A lot of good things happening in this clubhouse. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. Throw not in time to get him, and how about that? An unlikely infield that single. You don't know, as a pitcher. That could be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. That's the heavy sinker right there. He has the ability to get ground balls when he needs them, potential double play situations, or to get that jam job with no one on base, that tapper right back to the pitcher. One of the toughest pitches to hit in the game. Hits this one hard the other way. One there. On to the pitcher covering it first, and it's your textbook 3-6-1 double play that'll get him out of the inning. So stepping in is Anthony Rizzo. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, 
Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up. A swing and a high drive to right center field. He's around first, heading for two. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And the Cubs could be onto something here. It's a leadoff double. Wow, he puts a serious charge into this ball. Ends up splitting the two outfielders. Bangs up against the wall in right center. And he cruises into second, knowing he can't hit the ball much harder than that. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Fly ball right down the line in left. Ozuna moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. The second base. From the stretch. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he looks at a ball, 1 and 2. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. He'll try again, 1 2. Rizzo leads off second with one gun in the inning. And that misses two and two. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Ozuna finds some space out there for the catch to return. So now to the plate, Marcelo Zuna in his career against this pitcher. He's 0 for 8. The left fielder. Marcel. High in the air into shallow Marcel. left center. Baez has a play. One down. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Ball and a strike. Pitch on the way. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. So here's Johan Camargo. And he's definitely Go off to a go. fast start in the early part of the season. And he fouls this one off. Fastball called for strike two. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull the trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Bottom of the second here with no score. And a swing and a miss on a pitch that winds up hitting him. And rather bizarrely, the inning is over. Down in order go the Braves. We'll move to the third with no score. Striding in is Alec Mills. Nine, one, and two do up. Alec Mills. A swing and a ground ball to third. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. And the Cubs could be onto something here. It's a leadoff double. The fans didn't even get a chance to settle in their it's seats the for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair, and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. And there's one away. Here's now Jason that. Hayward now. He's 0 for 1 Jason after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. And the run will score as the Cubs strike first to lead it 1 0. Here's Chris Bryant now. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. 2-0 oh, oh now. Clearly working the bottom of the zone. Trying to get a ground ball for a double ball play. 3-0 three. Three oh now. Three ball. Well, that curveball was really a hanger, and that's yeah. not a good sign. 
He's got to get back on track. He needs that release point to get out front and get the ball down in the zone. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Had to wait back on the changeup, but he did a good job just to make contact. Swing and a line drive. And that's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he's out on a strong throw. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. One ball, no strikes to count. Back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. He swings, and it's a line drive to left center. A reach as he makes. We're just about set to go here as the Braves come to bat in the third inning. And this is an offense that's really been productive this year. Here you go. They come into the day tops in the majors in the team right batting field. average. And Alex. talking with some of the players and coaches prior to the game, many of them told me that's something they take a lot of pride in. Batting average isn't as highly valued as it once was. But they said it's a clear indication that they're doing a lot of good things in the batter's box to help the team collect W's. Guys? Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now that's the way you answer. They're down one nothing already, but he laces no the picture. double and puts himself yeah. in the scoring position. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back. Swing and a liner, and that's going to get down out there. They'll get it in quickly to the shortstop to hold the man at third, but they're at the corners to start now the inning. Back. Second baseman. Hey, this has the makings of being a pretty big inning, D-Roll. Lead off double, now a base hit, and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yes, yeah, sometimes. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And the tying run is in to score from third. Dan, you know what? You like to see that from an offense. When you have a guy in a scoring position, there's no sense in waiting around. He saw a pitch he liked right there, and he went after it. He did, D-Roll, and I think that's what most hitters do. They come up with guys on base that they can potentially drive in. They're looking for a pitch to hit, and he didn't wait around and got that bad head started. And he lays off for ball one. Anderson at second. Albies at first with no outs. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Ball even at two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another try at 2-2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Half is there, and he has it for the first down. So now here is Freddie Freeman looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. First pitch of the A-B now. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Oh Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. Oh, and he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Another 1-2 delivery. Lays off 2-2 two two now. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Ball three. Three and two now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And that misses for ball four to Freeman. As he'll work the walk. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He's got the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And he's one of those guys that they really rely on to come through in spots like this, Matt. Second on the team and runs batted in. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. And it's 1-1. One one. Bases are loaded here, one man out. 
flying toward right center. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get two and possibly all three home. You simply cannot offer a pitch like this to a hitter of this no guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. A ball and a strike now. Now a curveball misses inside. Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. Three runs already home here. Rarely do you see a player of his caliber fooled that badly, but he was tied up in knots that time. Two away now. now two men on, two the out. Catcher. And up next, Travis. the catcher, Travis Darno. Darno. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat-footed for much longer. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Two balls and a strike to count. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble three and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so... Forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Count full, three balls and two strikes. He's set the 3 2. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just. Here's Jock Peterson now as we begin the top of the fourth. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Into the windup and the pitch. Got him. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. The pitcher's got to be smarter right there. He blew that fastball right by him, and then he did him a favor by speeding up his bat with a changeup. Nice execution to keep your hands back by the batter. Austin Romine comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Under it is Ozuna, and there are two gone now. And he scurries back to first base safely. Next up, Alec Mills. He doubled his last time up. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land untouched. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push to throttle and pull it is being used. Cubs pitcher at the plate trailing with a one and two count. Both teams with six hits so far. And it's fouled away. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. He's set, and the one-two pitch. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get to chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. And the throw is in time to get him to retire. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Lady go. The pitch. The third baseman. 
Johan. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Cobb Hargo. And quickly there's one down to lead off the frame. Now batting. Now right into field. the box. Alex Alway. Jackson. He scored a run after That's stroking good. a double in his first at bat. And here's a ball hit in the air. Rizzo trying to get there. And that's going to land foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Jackson, most of the time, he can be found behind the plate, but he's roaming the outfield in this one. Yeah, crazy athlete, Matty. One thing that does travel to whatever position he's at is that he's got an absolute cannon. That's why he can go to the outfield and moonlight out there. No one's going to test his arm. And then to go back behind the dish and shut down a running game, this guy's a special talent. Ian Anderson checks his swing here on the first pitch, and it's 1-0. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Can't fall behind against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. Two balls and a strike now. The 2-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do. Welcome back to Truist Park just outside Atlanta as we send it down to check in with Heidi. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna is there for it. Makes the play one away. Now So bases are empty with one out now. And that'll bring up the multi gold glover Jason Hayward. No balls in one strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Lifted down the line in left. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And he misses there. One and two. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed the zone. Counts oh. even to Hayward. Two balls and two strikes. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Now another 2 2. Hit in the air to straightaway center. The Cunha is there. Two gone. Now that first offering. Chris Bryant is in with two away as he takes a ball 1 0. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. Fly ball out toward left center field. Acuna will get there and he puts it away to retire. Now to the plate, Ozzy Albies, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the, the bottom baseman. of the fifth. Albies. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Albies. Half is right there. One pitch, one away. The batter number seven. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. His line Dansby. includes a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout, knowing you have this guy way off balance. The one-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball Number even left the pitcher's Number hand. Five. That pitch wasn't Freddy. even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Freddie Freeman is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great. So now it'll be the four hole hitter. Ian Happ do up for the we four, five, and six hitters. And they're the hoping that this is the point. Oh, hold on here. Yeah. Well hit into deep left center. And I don't think this one's coming back. No siree. This one is gone. 
Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the, the end of the world. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Anthony. Ball one to Rizzo. Two runs, seven hits, no errors so far for the Cubbies. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2 0. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Just an absolute laser that time. Screaming off the bat, the if you will. And show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Fouled off. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. A bullet to first base. But the runner is back to avoid the double play. The batter number 13. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. David Bodie is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 and 1. And here's one that misses to the Chicago second baseman. It's a ball and a strike. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he's in safely to third as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. Now batting, the catcher. Austin. As we take a look here, it's just a good piece of hitting and good hustle. Driving the second run of the inning home and putting himself 90 feet away with just one out. One ball, one strike to count. Line towards center field. And he'll reach down to make the catch as he takes that one right off his shoe tops for the second out. And not in time as the run scores. The pitcher, the pitcher. And stepping in, Alec, Alec Mills. A Mills. hit in two tries for him so far. Weak grounder down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. And now the Atlanta. Number four hitter, Ronald Acuna. One for two with a double on his line thus far. I couldn't quite hold Here's a huge swing by Acuna and a drive to deep left. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. The back. The left Next field. to hit, Marcelo Marcel. Zuna. He struck out swinging oh, in his last trip to the plate. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities the out there the to swing and miss in that spot. Travis Garneau is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the. Tyler Matzik is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Javier Baez is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. One ball and one strike to the Cubs' leadoff batter. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Now here's one high and deep to left. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning. Instead, a foul ball. Fouled away. A bouncer up the middle. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. That's a nice piece of hitting right there, Dan. He went heater up in the zone and then tried to drop the off speed, but he was on it. Boy, Mark, that's the oldest trick in the book, right? You use one pitch to set up the other. This guy wasn't having any part of that. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. To second for one. Back to Freeman. Not in time, and they'll just get the one. Stepping in once again is Chris Bryant. He flew out in his last A.B. Strike one to start the at-bat. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. 
And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Ian Happ will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle yeah. innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. And he fouls this one off. Oh, and two pitches. A curveball that misses one and two. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone. 0 2 in a big spot. And he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number no, two. No. Anthony Rizzo is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. Hayward on second. Bryant at first, two out in the inning. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And he will reach up to make the catch. Oh. Cubs strand a couple, but they hang on to a. Express. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Chicago. Number 45, Brandon. Now here's the first offering. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Peterson has a read on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number 12. So next to bat will be Alex Jackson. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. High in the air out to center field. Hal is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Christian Pache will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Here's the first pitch. The average entering play at 3.01. Still without a home run and three driven in. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. Outside, 3-0 and now. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting the front foot down. No one's getting the barrel to the baseball. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying the run here is a board one. late in the game. Second baseman. So it's a Albies. runner at first with two men out. Albies. And that'll bring up the exciting Ozzy Albies. One and oh the count. From the belt, the pitch. Runner goes for second. One and one the count. Three runs, six hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Oh, and this one's dangerously up and in as he hits the deck here. It's ball three now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving them. Line hard down the line and right. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And 
and he missed with it. Ball four, so that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Ryan Tepera takes over seven. pitching duties, looking to Short get that stop. final out now Gen here in this seventh inning. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. He set the 0-1. Swing and a liner. That's in there. Base hit. Pache ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. Safe at the plate. It's a 4-4 game. You know, d in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI Three, base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable. He's able to get that knock in that big spot. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He's working on a one for two game so far. Come set the 0-1. Hit in the air to center field. Hap able to track it down for the third out. Just one hit in the inning. Ladies Sean Newcomb has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. First offering on its way. Sean Newcomb. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. You gotta cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Reined in. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any. Here's the pitch. David Bodie comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. In his career versus this pitcher, he's 1 for 4. That evens it up 1 and 1. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. We're in the eighth inning now of a 4 to 4 ball game. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Well we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love well the side is retired as they make the play nothing. Now it'll be Ronald Acuna. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. The center fielder Ronald. Acuna. Ready to deal. Acuna. Here comes the first pitch. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. A great job pounding the zone strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Whoa, that That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. Hard hit ball to second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Boy, there's another opposite base hit right there, Dilo. It's He's turning up April showers into May Fowlers right now. There's no doubt about it. This guy has gotten off to a hot start, but it's his ability to use the whole field. That's what's made the difference. He's not just pull happy or trying to push everything the other way. He's taking what the pitcher's giving. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now the 0-1. For the delivery, a check on that go ahead run at first. And he'll get back in safely. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Popped him up. Rizzo has room in foul territory. And that's the first out of the inning. Next it'll be Travis Darno grounded out in his last at bat. First offering on its way down the left field line and deep. The 0 1 pitch. 
hit out towards second. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And he is in there at third as the possible go-ahead score. You know, D. Will, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your back. You don't even know how they were stuffing so bad. There's one, and the Rizzo, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. Looked like that might be an inning ending double play off the bat, but that was some great hustle to beat the throw at first. Keeps the inning alive, and more importantly, he gets an RBI because of it. Into the box now, Alex Jackson. Now a swing and a little bouncer softly hit to the right side of the mound. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Braves get a couple of hits here in plate one. Will Smith comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. First pitch coming, here it is. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And that one yanked just foul. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Fouled off. Here's another one, two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. First offering. Bounce towards the second baseman. Albie scoops it up. Throw on to first gets him, and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward with his career line against Will Smith. He's gone three for 11. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Looked like a breaking ball there, but it missed badly. 2-0. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Taken, but called a strike. Stealing that strike on 3 0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Well, this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. This evening's game comes to an end 5 4, the final tally. The Braves came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Sean Newcomb claims the win out of the pen his first. Will Smith records the save his 12th of the season. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.